We turn now to CBS News Justice and Homeland Security correspondent Jeff Pegues. There are conflicting reports at this moment of how many casualties, and we're doing our best to confirm those numbers while we do that. Jeff, first, what do we know about the shooter? He is 29 years old. Multiple law enforcement sources have confirmed for CBS News that his name is Omar Mateen from Port St. Lucie, Florida. Members of Congress we're hearing have been briefed that there was some sort of weapons training in his background, but we're still trying to get specifics on that. Right now, investigators will try to look at his online footprint. Who was he communicating with uh, through computer, through his cell phone? That's how they're going to gather a lot of evidence in this case if they can recover those items. Early on, the, uh, officials at the scene were saying the word terrorism. It seemed faster than we're used to hearing that. What did that mean to you? Well, you're right. What it means is that maybe there was something said during the mass shooting. Did he say something that suggested a closer tie to Islam is Islamic extremism? Was there something that he said? Were there witness accounts confirming something that he said? Was there some sort of online statement that he made leading up to this mass shooting and that's why it's so important for investigators and they will tell you this to track down what he was doing in the days and hours leading up to this event. In these kinds of moments is there a benefit in terms of investigators of uh, the first 12 hours if this turns out to be a terrorist incident of moving quickly and getting the word out? Well it is crucial because they want to get to his residence as quickly as possible. They want to make sure that no evidence there is disturbed. Uh, if there is someone else involved and there is no indication of that right now but they want to know who has he been in contact with and that's why they want to move quickly. What does it look like this was a target uh, if in fact this was uh, terrorism of the kind we've we've seen with an ideological bent that that is outside of the United States is there anything in this attack that that has any parallels with other incidents we've seen before. Well, yeah, obviously Paris comes to mind and the Bataclan Theater there uh, when, where more than 100 people died. So that is an incident here that uh, there, there are some similarities, if you will, but also there are similarities to what happened in San Bernardino this past December. Uh, so investigators will look at this, but this is what they've been concerned about, especially when it comes to ISIS, are these evolving tactics and the fact that uh, this club was targeted. It was a gay nightclub. Perhaps there is some symbolism there that they will be looking at. Also, they will look at online chatter to see if there's any sort of a claim of responsibility from ISIS or Al Qaeda for that matter. But the way this happened and the way this is unfolding, it has the hallmarks of some sort of ISIS either inspired or directed event. And quickly, we'll uh, move to the FBI. This investigation, will we start hearing basically from federal law enforcement rather than local law enforcement? Well, that's the way this is going as well. What we're hearing right now is headquarters is working on this. A lot of the information uh, will be coming from headquarters. All right, and new numbers are that there are 50 dead. That's 50 dead. We'll have more on this story as it develops. And Jeff Begays, thank you.